meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Just loving the sunshine out there today, and this really is going to be the best looking day of the week. Now, yesterday we hit 58 degrees, and normally you'd say 58 degrees in the middle of winter, or at least the middle of December, you got yourself something there. But the wind was fierce. We saw wind gusts of 37 miles an hour at the Evansville Airport. Not exactly enjoying 58 degrees when you've got that much of a wind. And tomorrow we're going to hit 58 or upper 50s, and some locations might hit 60 degrees. But we've got a wind again, and we can see wind gusts up around 45 miles an hour. We're talking about more fierce winds, and then we've still got the wind out there as we head into Christmas. Unfortunately, it's going to be a much colder wind on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. At least we didn't have to worry about that yesterday. It was a chilly wind. It'll be a chilly wind tomorrow, too, even though the temperature is going to be in the upper 50s. But today, we don't have the wind. We're getting a break from that. And that temperature high, even though it's a, not a far cry, but it's well off that 58-degree mark, we're going to hit 50, and that's good enough when you don't have a lot of wind out there. As we take a look at a few tower cam stops so we can see the beautiful blue sky from several locations across the triscape. This is out in the backyard, our Hetz Construction tower cam shot. And of course, uh, looking down upon the Henderson Strip, and you can see the strip of buildings that is downtown Evansville off in the distance. And a pretty clear shot of this, too. I love this shot from the backyard because there's downtown Evansville basking in that sunshine. Now we take a look at the Deaconess Gateway camera, our Evansville Hyundai cam, on top of one of the buildings there at the complex. And a lot of traffic, very busy interchange. And of course, especially this time of the year as we get ready for Christmas, I'm sure a lot of traffic out there doing shopping as well as other things. But it's moving nicely. That's always nice to see. And then downtown Evansville in all its glory, the beautiful blue sky, deeper blue this time of the year. Don't have to worry about that humidity or haze. That's our Zemer Funeral Home camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. Final stop downtown Owensboro and the Blue Bridge under a blue sky. A nice shot there from our Kincaid camera. And of course that is on top of the Hampton Inn out there in downtown Owensboro. 44 degrees. So the temperature is off, you know, where we were yesterday at this time by several degrees. But I mean with that wind it's Three miles an hour from the south-southwest. Who can complain about that? And the pressure's up there, too. Although the pressure's going to start falling again tomorrow. We've seen a lot of pressure changes lately. Up and down might be affecting you just a little bit. Temperature-wise, how low can we go? Still have 39 degrees in Lagoni. Can't do a run. I don't see a 40 on the board. Got 41 in Jasper, though. 42 in Vincennes. 43 in Princeton. 44 in Henderson. 45 degrees in Tell City. 46 in Beaver Dam. 47 in Morgantown. That's as warm as it gets. Uh, 47 also in Marion, just outside the Tri-State, too. So we've got some temperatures now starting to climb into the upper 40s. We're going to see low 50s today. I'm calling it 50 here in Evansville, but a few locations, especially down to the south, could hit uh, 40, uh, 54, 53 degrees up in that area. Wind speeds, look at all the calm readings to the east. Wind picking up just a little bit uh, here in the Evansville area and then down to the southwest of Evansville. Uh, so there's a bit of a wind chill, 6 miles an hour in Morgan Field, 6 miles an hour in Harrisburg, making it feel like 42 Morgan Field, 43 in Harrisburg. And of course, we woke up this morning with some wind chills that were down below the freezing mark as well. So not looking too bad out there, not for the 22nd day of December, that's for sure. Well, the 21st day of December, the winter solstice, wow, did we have an event in the sky? If you missed it, that's okay. I've got pictures. You've probably already seen a lot of pictures on social media, too. This is from Holly Johnson. And oh, by the way, shout out to Holly's cousin, Tracy, who helped her wade through these soggy fields, she said there, in Calhoun. So this is back home, Angie, for you. And they actually went up to this barn. Great shot there at the barn. And just above the barn, that's a, that's a wonderful picture of both Jupiter and Saturn. That's how close they were in the night sky. And when you get away from like this, this light pollution of a bigger city, and you've got, I mean, just the, basically the countryside in McLean County, you can see, I mean, look how much more impressive it is than the rest of the stars in the sky. You've got Jupiter and Saturn right there, a very impressive sight. And Holly Johnson, thank you so much for sending that picture my way. Now this is through a telescope and with a little time exposure here too, but I love it, just the same. There's Jupiter, there's Saturn, and you can see it's got an oval shape. That's the ring around Saturn right there. And you've got the moons. Look at all these moons you've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven moons, it looks like, of both Saturn and Jupiter. Lovely shot there. Steve Alexander is the one that got that particular shot there. Live for this morning, Doppler radar. It's a quiet run. We've got a blank map out there. We are going to be seeing uh, the chance for rain, but it's not going to be until in the afternoon tomorrow, even though more clouds are going to move in tonight. As we see on Storm Tracker, just a few clouds kind of traipsing through to the north. Nothing much of significance anywhere close. If you go Upstate, though, in Illinois and upstate in Indiana got a few extra clouds, but I mean, as far as any precipitation, we got a little bit of snow, or they do anyway, in the Appalachians. That's as close as it gets. So you can travel to Indianapolis, Nashville today, Lexington, Cincinnati, St. Louis without a problem. Now, I will say this, though, even though I'm not expecting much of any snow or any accumulation coming up on Thursday morning, Christmas Eve, 
East of here in parts of northern Kentucky and eastern Kentucky, if you're going up to Covington, Cincinnati, Lexington, they could see some decent little accumulation. So just a heads up there uh, as that system's going to be a little more potent as it works its way to the east. A future tracker, although it's going to be potent enough for us as far as the heavy rain we're going to get, we're going to get, uh, looks like a pretty decent dowsing. So I'll show you that in a second. Nothing shaken as far as future tracker is concerned during the afternoon. And again, you can still get out there and see Jupiter and Saturn tonight. Your best bet, I'd say between 5 and 6 o'clock, not long after the sun sets, because then you'll see those two head down below the horizon, after, not long after that anyway. But here we go, clear sky, 5 o'clock, and of course that was the time I was checking it out, the conjunction last night, just not quite as impressive tonight. And then as we roll into the overnight hours, at least closer to midnight, you can see more clouds starting to swallow up the sky, and then plenty of clouds out there as we go through uh, the night and into tomorrow morning. But look at the breaks we've got out there, so it could be a pretty good looking sunrise tomorrow for our Wednesday, staying dry. Here we are through noon, and still not much of anything going on, just a little bit of rain now starting to trickle up from the southwest, and then we're going to be seeing uh, more scattered showers out there. Wouldn't be surprised if we heard a rumble or two of thunder out there as well. And a pretty good line setting up too along that frontal boundary. And that is going to be around 9 o'clock as it pushes through Evansville, Owensboro, Jasper areas, Madisonville too. On the back side, the latest run on our future tracker really isn't indicating much in the way of snow. But it looks like we're going to have on the back edge a little bit of snow. And you can see a few flakes there too on the back side of the system as well. As colder air gets pushed in behind that system. And you can see we've got ourselves the chill definitely being on, and of course, there's still a few clouds hanging around, too, as we go through uh, the afternoon on our Thursday. Rainfall amounts, I mean, anywhere from about a half an inch to an inch. It looks like a lot of us are going to fall in that category, so a pretty good dousing of rain we're going to have. And on the back side of that, I still think we might see some minor accumulations in some of our eastern counties, pretty much east of 231s, where you're going to have your best bet of maybe catching maybe a tenth of an inch or something along those lines. But as you work your way farther to the east, again, it'll be a little more impressive, and they could see a little bit more in the way of accumulation. Now, the high High today is going to be in the low 50s. Now, it's off yesterday, but it's still about 10 degrees above the average for this time of the year. Calling it 50 in Evansville. Some locations, though, in the mid-50s, especially down to the south. Northwest wind shifting to the south 5 to 10 miles an hour, and that's it. That's the way we like it, right? Over the next seven days, temperatures are going to be uh, warming up a little bit tomorrow. But again, we've got all that wind to deal with. We can see wind gusts up to 45 miles an hour and a good chance of rain, and then it's going to transition Wednesday night to Thursday into a little bit of snow. It's not going to amount to much of anything. Windy and cold and how on Christmas Eve, a high of only 33 degrees. Keep in mind, wind chills are going to be well below that. We're talking about single digits and teens. And speaking of teens, that's where we're going to start today on Christmas Day. Hope your heat's working well. 15 degrees, that's what I'm calling it. Some locations, I wouldn't be shocked if they were down in single digits to start Christmas Day. Coldest day we've had since last winter, and a high of only 28 degrees on Christmas. So huddle in next to a fire or something. Thing. Temperatures will be warming back into the 40s, though, over the weekend, Angie. And hey, check this out. Another great shot of the Great Conjunction. Amazing. Frank Just Knight got this shot from amazing. Henderson. There's Jupiter, three moons of Jupiter. There's Saturn. You can see the ring on that. See how they've got the, you sure can. the, the planet right there, the ring around there? So amazing. Thank Good you shot, for Frank. all those great shots, everybody. Good job, Frank. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? We're going to come back with some <laughs> gift. <and laughs> yes, Joe is talking to me in my ear. Oh, we're going to break now. We'll be back. <laughs>